The straight 8 engine or inline 8 engine is an 8 cylinder internal combustion engine with all 8 cylinders mounted in a straight line along the crankcase. The type has been produced in side valve, overhead valve, sleeve valve, and overhead cam configurations. A straight 8 can be timed for inherent primary and secondary balance, with no unbalanced primary or secondary forces or moments. However, crankshaft torsional vibration, present to some degree in all engines, is sufficient to require the use of a harmonic damper at the accessory end of the crankshaft. Without such damping, fatigue cracking near the rear main bearing journal may occur, leading to engine failure. Although an inline six-cylinder engine can also be timed for inherent primary and secondary balance, a straight eight develops more power strokes per revolution and, as a result, will run more smoothly under load than an inline six. Also, due to the even number of power strokes per revolution, the straight eight does not produce unpleasant odd order harmonic vibration in the vehicle's driveline at low engine speeds. The smooth running characteristics of the straight eight made it popular in luxury and racing cars of the past. However, the engine's length demanded the use of a long engine compartment, making the basic design unacceptable in modern vehicles. Also, due to the length of the engine, torsional vibration in both crankshaft and camshaft can adversely affect reliability and performance at high speeds. In particular, a phenomenon referred to as crankshaft rip, caused by the effects of centrifugal force on the crank throws at high engine RPM, could cause physical contact between the connecting rods and crankcase walls, leading to the engine's destruction. As a result, the design has been displaced almost completely by the shorter V8 engine configuration. Early period, the first straight 8 was conceived by Charon, Gerard A. Voigt in 1903, but never built. Great strides were made during World War I, as Mercedes made straight 8 aircraft engines. Advantages of the straight 8 engine for aircraft applications included the aerodynamic efficiency of the long, narrow configuration, and the inherent balance of the engine making counterweights on the crankshaft unnecessary. The disadvantages of crank and camshaft twisting were not considered at this time, since aircraft engines of the time ran at low speeds to keep propeller tip speed below the speed of sound. Unlike the V8 engine configuration, examples of which were used in De Dion Bouton, Scripps Booth, and Cadillac automobiles by 1914, no straight eight engines were used in production cars before 1920. Interwar period. Equals luxury automobiles equals. Italy's Isotta Frascini introduced the first production automobile straight eight in their Type 08 at the Paris Salon in 1919. Leyland Motors introduced their OHC straight eight powered Leyland 8 luxury car at the International Motor Exhibition at Olympia, London in 1920. The Duesenberg brothers introduced their first production straight eight in 1921. Straight eight engines were used in expensive luxury and performance vehicles until after World War II. Bugatti's and Duesenberg's commonly used double overhead cam straight eight engines. Other notable straight eight powered automobiles were built by Daimler, Mercedes Benz, Isotta Frascini, Alfa Romeo, Stuss, Stearns Knight, and Packard. One marketing feature of these engines was their impressive length the Euro some of the Duesenberg engines were over 4 feet long, resulting in the long hood found on these automobiles. Equals premium automobiles in the United States equals, in the United States in the 1920s, automobile manufacturers, including Chandler, Gardner, and Auburn, began using straight eight engines in cars targeted at the middle class. Engine manufacturer Lycoming built straight eight engines for sale to automobile manufacturers, including Gardner, Auburn, and Locomobile. Lycoming was purchased by Auburn owner Eric Lobencord, who used a Lycoming straight eight in his front drive called L29 automobile, and had Lycoming build the straight eight engine for the Duesenberg Model J, which had been designed by the Duesenberg brothers for the Cord owned Duesenberg Incorporated. The automobile manufacturers within the Cord Corporation, comprising Auburn, Cord, and Duesenberg, were shut down in 1937. Lightcoming continues to this day as an aircraft engine manufacturer. In the late 1920s, 
Volume sellers Hudson and Studebaker introduced straight eight engines for the premium vehicles in their respective lines. They were followed in the early 1930s by Nash, Ario, and the Buick, Oldsmobile, and Pontiac divisions of General Motors. The Buick straight eight engine was an overhead valve design, while the Oldsmobile and Pontiac straight eights were flat head engines. Chevrolet, as an entry level mark, did not have a straight eight. Cadillac, the luxury brand of General Motors, stayed with their traditional V8 engines. In order to have engines as smooth as the straight eights of its competitors, Cadillac introduced the cross plane crankshaft for its V8, and added V12 and V16 engines to the top of its lineup. Ford never adopted the straight eight. Their entry level Ford cars used flat head V8 engines until the 1950s, while their Lincoln luxury cars used V8 from the 1930s to the 1980s and V12 engines in the 1930s and 1940s. Chrysler used a flat head straight eight in its premium Chrysler, Dodge, and DeSoto cars, including the Imperial luxury model. Equals airships equals. The British R101 rigid airship was fitted with five Beardmore Tornado MK inline eight cylinder diesel engines. These engines were intended to give an output of 700 bhp at 1000 rpms, but in practice had a continuous output rating of only 585 bhp at 900 rpms. Post war After World War II, changes in the automobile market resulted in the decline and final extinction of the straight eight as an automobile engine. The primary users of the straight eight were American luxury and premium cars that were carried over from before the war. A flippable intercity bus used the Buick straight eight. During World War II, improvements in the refinery technology used to produce aviation gasoline resulted in the availability of large amounts of inexpensive high octane gasoline. Engines could be designed with higher compression ratios to take advantage of high octane gasoline. This led to more highly stressed engines which amplified the limitations of the long crankshaft and camshaft in the straight eight engines. Oldsmobile replaced their straight eight with a V8 engine in 1949, at which time Cadillac also introduced their first overhead valve V8. Chrysler replaced its straight eight with its famous Hemi V8 for 1951. Hudson retired its straight eight at the end of the 1952 model year. Buick introduced a 322 Ina cubed V8 in 1953, with similar displacement as their 320 Ina cubed straight eight, the latter being produced until the end of the 1953 model year. Pontiac maintained production on their straight eight, as well as a L head in line six, through the end of the 1954 model year, after which a V8 became standard. Packard ended production of their signature straight eight at the end of 1954 replacing it with an overhead valve V8. By the end of the 1970s overhead valve V8s powered 80% of automobiles built in the US, and most of the rest had six-cylinder engines. In Europe, many automobile factories had been destroyed during World War II, and it took many years before war-devastated economies recovered enough to make large cars popular again. The change in the design of cars from a long engine compartment between separate fenders to the modern configuration with its shorter engine compartment quickly led to the demise of the straight eight engine. As a result, four and six cylinder engines powered the majority of cars in Europe, and the few eight cylinder cars produced were in the V8 configuration. Equals armored fighting vehicles equals the British Army selected Rolls-Royce straight eight engines in the Alvis FV600 armored vehicle family. The Saladin armored car was a 6x6 design with the engine compartment in the rear, a 76.2 mm low-pressure gun turret in the center and the driver in front. The Saracen armored personal carrier had the engine in front with the driver in the center and space for up to nine troops in the rear. The stalwart amphibious logistics carrier has the driver's compartment over the front wheels, the engine in the rear and a large load compartment over the middle and rear. The Salamander firefighting vehicle was unarmored, and resembled the stalwart with a conventional fire engine superstructure. Performance and racing cars Despite the shortcomings of length, weight, bearing friction, and torsional vibrations that led to the straight-8's post-war demise, 
The straight eight was the performance engine design of choice from the late 1920s to the late 1940s, and continued to excel in motorsport until the mid 1950s. Bugatti, Duesenberg, Alfa Romeo, Mercedes Benz, and Miller built successful racing cars with high performance dual overhead camshaft straight eight engines in the 1920s and 1930s. The Duesenberg brothers introduced the first successful straight eight racing engine in 1920 when their 3L engine placed 3rd, 4th, and 6th at the Indianapolis 500. The following year one of their cars won the French Grand Prix, while two others placed 4th and 6th in the race. Based on work the company had done on 16-cylinder aircraft engines during World War I, the overhead camshaft, 3-valve per cylinder engine produced 115 brake horsepower at 4,250 rpms, and was capable of revving to an astonishing 5,000 rpms. No Grand Prix engine before the war had peaked at more than 3,000 rpms. Bugatti experimented with straight eight engines from 1922, and in 1924, he introduced the 2L Bugatti Type 35, one of the most successful racing cars of all time, which eventually won over 1,000 races. Like the Duesenbergs, Bugatti got his ideas from building aircraft engines during WWI, and like them, his engine was a high revving overhead camshaft unit with three valves per cylinder. It produced 100 bhp at 5000 rpms and could be revved to over 6000 rpms. Nearly 400 of the Type 35 and its derivatives were produced, an all time record for Grand Prix motor racing. Alfa Romeo were the first to react to the engineering problems of the straight eight, in their racing car engines for the P2 and P3 and in their Alfa Romeo 8C 23,200,900 sports cars of Mil Miglia and Le Mans fame the camshaft drive had been moved to the engine center, between cylinders number 4 and 5, thus reducing the aforementioned limitations. The straight eight was actually built as a symmetrical pair of straight four engines joined in the middle at common gear trains for the camshafts and superchargers. It had two overhead camshafts, but only two valves per cylinder. The Alfa Romeo straight eight would return after World War II to dominate the first season of Formula One racing in 1950, and to win the second season against competition from Ferrari's V12 powered car in 1951. The Alfa Romeo 158-159 Alfetta was originally designed in 1937 and 147 of 54 Grands Prix entered between 1938 and 1951. By 1951, their 1.5 L supercharged engines could produce 425 bhp at 9,300 rpms, and could rev as high as 10,500 rpms. However, the engines were at the end of their potential, and rule changes for the 1952 season made the Alfettas obsolete. Mercedes-Benz would create the last notable straight eight racing cars in 1955, with the championship winning W196 Formula One racing car and the 300 SLR sports racing car. The 300 SLR was famous for Sterling Moss and Dennis Jenkinson's victory in the 1955 Mil Miglia but notorious for Pierre Levé's notorious accident at the 1955 24 Hours of Le Mans. The 300 SLR was the final development of the Alfa Romeo design of the early 1930s as not only the camshaft, but now also the gearbox was driven from the engine's center. Engineers calculated that torsional stresses would be too high if they took power from the end of the long crankshaft, so they put a central gear train in the middle and ran a drive shaft to the clutch housing at the rear. References equals Books equals, Daniels, Jeff. Driving Force, The Evolution of the Car Engine. Haynes Publishing. ISBN 1-85960-877-9. Gail Garno, GN Cars, Early and Vintage, 1886 Euro 1930. London, Grange Universal. Ludwigsen, Carl. Classic Racing Engines. Haynes Publishing Pages 22 a Euro 25. ISBN 1 85960 0 Equals Websites equals Davis, John William. Welsh Motorsport, Cars. Welsh Motorsport History. 
John William Davis. Retrieved January 20, 2009. Van Dam, Star Copyright Fane. Histomobile, Leyland, 1920s HTTP, www.histomobile.com slash. Histoide l'automobile. Star Copyright Fane Van Dam. Retrieved January 20, 2009.